vlog. It's currently actually lunchtime and I wanted to make something at home. I spent so much money on groceries last week and now I'm looking through my fridge and I'm like, what is there to eat? I feel like there's just ingredients at this point. And so I'm just gonna make like a sandwich and hopefully it turns out pretty good. Just have some sourdough bread. I'm gonna pop it in the toaster. I'm gonna make one for me and Ryan. So we'll start with this. I've been in such a funk and I don't even like to call it a funk because it's just like this period that happens every single year at this point where I am kind of like craving something more because I have so much free time during my slower season of photography but then it just like picks right back up and I feel like I need to just give myself this grace to you know maybe focus more on social media which I've definitely been slacking on that as well and honestly I think I work better under pressure because I've been posting like a video at least a week during grad season which is my busiest time and it was hard but like now I feel like I don't even have much to vlog so I don't even want to vlog and I know I said I would post every Tuesday and Thursday which I still like very much want to do but just something in me is just like not there yet like i still don't have the motivation and quite honestly i don't even know what to film because there's not much going on in my life right now i hate to do this like pull back what i said but hopefully it starts picking up because i feel like the fall is jam-packed with just things to do and obviously things to share with you guys at the end of the day i really want to spend more time like focusing on growing my tiktok following because that is where i get you know, most of my brand deals, I literally have not gotten a YouTube sponsorship in probably like a year at least. And I'm also starting to post more on my photography TikTok. So it's just been like a lot, like even though I say I have free time, like there's always more that I could be doing um, with self promo for like honestly both of my businesses. So I've just been kind of focusing on that because a lot of photographers just started posting like grad signups are here for spring and I literally freaked out. I was like, oh my goodness, I feel like I should be doing this. Um, so that's coming up soon but exciting things are happening because we have started to house hunt we actually put in our first offer on a house but we didn't get it there was nine offers in six days on the house so yeah very sad time but it's okay on to the next we're gonna find something even better hopefully even closer to austin and it's just a really exciting time but i already know it's going to be such an emotional roller coaster because i was really sad when i found out that we didn't get it i mean like now thinking that it had nine offers like duh it had nine offers it was such a good deal it was a fixer upper but it was a really nice fixer upper i mean we didn't get an inspection yet so like we didn't really know exactly what it needed to be done to the house um and what was necessary so honestly maybe it was god's plan because maybe there was more to it than we thought but we're gonna tour two houses today at 5 p.m so i'm looking forward to that i've been obsessively looking on zillow like i thought I was being obsessed like this whole like past year looking on it like maybe once a day maybe every other day no i feel like i look at it every two hours i'm like come on something come up because i found that one house like the day it went on the market and toured it the day it went on the market so i just feel like it kind of moves fast if you really want something but i'm glad i got the ball rolling because i've been you know looking on zillow for so long and i finally like kind of took the next step and took it a little bit more seriously because I never knew when to be serious about a house, you know? Like I just feel like I'm a baby and I'm like not ready to be an adult. I feel like buying a house is like very much like, okay, girl, you're you're a grown ass woman. I've actually been very proud of myself because I've been cooking at home a lot. Um, but now we're kind of, you know, getting to the last of it. We start off with our sourdough bread. Um, I think we're gonna do turkey, gotta find that. Look how stunning this looks. I'm just gonna add some Chick-fil-A sauce on top too. It's gonna be delicious. It's 4.40 and we have to head out because it's traffic time. I just made myself like a crystal light. <laughs> These are becoming a new obsession, which I know they're probably not the healthiest, but they are healthier than Sprite, okay? So the healthier alternative, of course. I'm so excited, we're 
gonna see like three houses, I think. We added, right. yeah, we added one, the emerald one. Should we like grab a snack? I feel a little hungry. We need sushi. I do want sushi, we're probably gonna get sushi after. We're on our way to look at house number one and I know you guys are probably gonna ask me where we are trying to like look for houses. To be honest, we're pretty open-minded. We didn't start off like that for sure. Like we wanted to be as close as I guess me, honestly. <laughs> like Ryan was like, yeah, let's let's live out on the farmland of Austin, but I was not for it. I want to definitely as close as I can be to UT because that's like my commute for like three months out of the year. Um, and honestly, UT is close to downtown, so that just means we'll be close to downtown. So we are finding like not bad contenders, definitely not as close as I want to be. Ideally, we would buy in East Austin, but right now that's just not in our budget unless something comes up. Ideally, We're just praying. Right what? Ideally, I'd like my very down. Well, yeah, I mean, ideally we would live in Lake Austin, like right on Lake Austin, but we're not there yet. This is our first home, so we gotta be a little bit more realistic. So we found these on Zillow, actually, which I don't know is a good sign or a bad sign. Why is that a bad sign? Is that where everyone finds houses? I mean, I feel like your realtors get early access, so yeah. oh. maybe, they're, you know, people aren't touring them or don't want them for some reason. God, I got it. That's so true. I feel like if I see that it's been on the site for more than like 30 days, I'm like, Okay, something has to be wrong with it, right? Like, how is no one like buying this house? First house of the day, and I already really like the kitchen because there's some sunlight coming in. So that's really pretty to me. And there's like a good amount of storage, I feel like, in the kitchen. In my apartment right now, I have so many cabinets. I've literally filled them all up. So I need a house that has a bunch of cabinets, even though these don't really look like too deep or big. So I was thinking maybe we could even like put some nice cabinetry here. The bathroom. Needs a little work. Ryan says it doesn't. <laughs> I feel like it needs a major. <laughs> yes, but we were going to fix it up completely. That's why I want to fix her upper because I don't. I don't think I'll like anything. But this is nice. Ooh, that is nice. That's really nice. Yeah. We went to the first house and honestly, it's really hard to see a house after you like loved one so much. That's why I said it was like an emotional roller coaster because the first one just had such nice lighting. You guys know like lighting is so important to me. The last house was not really like up to my standards, but I really liked the kitchen because there was like light coming through there and um, like there was like a good amount of storage. But now we're on to the second house. It took us 30 minutes because again, it's like traffic time. First impressions of this neighborhood, it's definitely more like walkable. I feel like the roads look like so brand new. Um, and that's important too, because I want to be able to, you know, walk Sophie and feel safe. This house is pretty much completely renovated already. Doesn't have garage. We just pulled up and the gate looks a little, looks a little funky. Oh my goodness. <laughs> But we just made it to the second house. We'll try to film a little bit inside. Look at all this storage. Brand new. This will be yeah. light. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I went to open this just to see in and like look. You can barely even open that side of the fridge. Like what the heck? And there's like not even like space to slide it over. <laughs> Look how big this room is. It gets so much light, but I feel like the whole rest of the house is dark. Just came from the second house, which was more expensive and a newer build, like it was just completely renovated. But honestly, I think I'm just so stuck on renovating a house myself and fixing it up that I didn't even like really like it because the floors were all gray and I want that like light wood post oak look. Like Ryan said, I don't think there's gonna be a house that's like perfect for me in my budget, so that's why I feel like we should probably just go the fixer upper route, but I think this next one, or the last one, is going to be my favorite. It just looks like there's gonna be so much natural light in this, and it is a little further out, but you know, if it's a nice house, like, it might be worth the drive. Praying that this is a good one, it's also two stories, so I'm excited to see that, because I feel like a lot of houses, especially in our budget, are ranch style, which I do not have a problem with that because I actually really like ranch style, but obviously this one's just gonna be a little bit more spacious. This house comes with like this little, what do they call it? Stock tank pool, cowboy pool. And I like this area for the dining room. 
Okay. More walk in. It's pretty big. Good morning. It is Wednesday. It is 8 40 a.m. and I already did a workout and I did a little headshot session just now. We went to Moody Amphitheater. It's just like close by to my house and since it's a shorter session I don't want to always have to like drive too far but usually if it's a longer session I'll do it at Sea Home and it's honestly very similar vibe so i really don't mind shooting here and the sun was coming in so nicely usually i like to shoot very close to sunrise so that the sun's not too harsh on my subject i feel like this week has been a little bit like cloudy like it's still very sunny very blue sky but there are still clouds in the sky so that's why i was able to do it a little bit later um but i'm going to go back home and shower but i wanted to give you guys an update on house number three because i know i didn't vlog after it it honestly makes me so freaking sad like this whole process I don't know how many times I've said it but yeah it's an emotional roller coaster because I told you guys I thought I was gonna like house number three the most but I really did not <laughs> I think I liked house number one because of the kitchen they're all just not in like my ideal location and I know I'm being super picky right now but also I just don't really want to rush anything and I know it's coming close to my lease ending but I also like want a good location and you know, it might not be like the best looking house at first, but I want a fixer upper. I think I've like had my mind set on that. So yeah, none of the houses last night were a go for us, unfortunately, but honestly, my realtor, Kiana, she told me that she looked at 75 houses like in person and I was like, what the heck? That is like so many. And honestly, I really hope that I don't have to look at 75 houses to find the one, but we will see. I'll keep you guys updated. At first, I was going to like kind of keep it a secret because I didn't want anything to be like jinxed or anything, especially with us putting on an offer on the other house, which... I guess it's a good thing I really only waited until after because we didn't get the house but it's also like a really fun process to share and I feel like Austin's a booming market and I don't know could be fun to share it with you guys so let me know if you guys even like this like house hunting content it's definitely different from like the new builds that you know you're used to seeing I just want it to look like perfect to me and hopefully after we sell it, maybe it'll be perfect to someone else. So that is the update on that. And I have to go home, shower, and start packing because I am leaving tomorrow at 12, which means I have to get to the airport at 10. So I need to not procrastinate on that because I feel like I'm always procrastinating packing. Just showered and I'm honestly not that hungry right now. It's just 10 a.m. So I think I'm gonna have a protein drink. This is the Premier Protein. It's the caramel flavor. I've never tried this flavor before, so. Let's do a little taste test. I always have to pour it in another glass. I hate drinking from this little carton thing. I've tried the chocolate one and the cake batter one, and I think I really liked the cake batter, so I'm, I'm hoping this is similar. No. No, I have three more, so I'm gonna have to just suck it up and like it for now. Um, definitely the cake batter is the best. The chocolate's good too, but caramel is no-go for me. It just has like a little chemically like taste at first. Makeup is done and honestly my hair is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I didn't even put dry shampoo in like after I worked out and it looks really freaking good. So I'm very shocked at that. I might still do like a slick back bun but before that I really wanted to try that like 10 second bun that I've seen on TikTok. You literally like take your hair and wrap it and it just becomes a bun and it looks like actually perfect. So I'm curious to see if it'll work on my long hair and also if I'll get the hang of it on the first try. My hair is growing so freaking fast. Like I feel like it was not this long and um, I can't remember when I got a haircut the last time. I should probably go in for another one and I also want to get a gloss because you can see like the brown coming in very clearly. That's the annoying part. Like I wanted to dye my hair dark so I wouldn't have to go to the salon and like get it touched up because it used to get really brassy pretty easily, like orange colored instead of like really nice and ashy. So I thought I would be like saving time and money by just dyeing it dark so I would never have to go to the hair salon again. But unfortunately, I didn't think about having to do a gloss while this all grows out. I'm the type of person that has to work out in the mornings, otherwise it's not going to get done for the day. So that's why I go so early, because I like to be done early. But the issue is that my midday slumps have been 
worse than they ever have before. I really feel like I need to take a nap. Most of the time I do, I take advantage of my self-employed work schedule, but I end up working in the night, which is annoying because I want to work you know, during the actual normal work hours so I don't have to work at night. So if you guys have any recommendations on just how to maintain energy throughout the day, please let me know. I don't really drink coffee. Um, I could drink a chai or a matcha, but I don't drink it every single day because when I do drink it, I like it really, really sugary. <laughs> so that doesn't help because um, I feel like I have a crash from it. And then I tried the Alani new drinks and I actually really like them. But again, I don't want to be dependent on it and then drinking it every single day. I know a lot of people say like eat a lot of protein in the morning. I'm trying to do that right now. I did run out of like breakfast meats, so we need to get back on that when I come back from Florida. So other than that, let me know if you guys have any advice. I prep my hair just as if I was putting in a ponytail. So what I saw on TikTok is that you grab the hair, you kind of pull it as if you're making a bun, and then <laughs> uh, I'm kind of lost from here. Something like that. Oh. Okay, and then I think you come in, oh my gosh. Okay, it doesn't feel very secure at all. I'm actually sweating trying to figure this out, but I went to TikTok and did a little bit more research, tried to practice a little bit. So we're gonna start with a smaller nub. Try to like take this hair somehow and just make it a little bit shorter maybe. Let's see, something like that. And we're just gonna try to pull it through and hope this works. That time wasn't half bad, but I feel like it would look a lot cuter if I curled my hair because a lot of the videos had people with like curled hair. And so it would look a little bit less like just, you know, this pieces sticking out and so straight. I wanted to give you guys a quick plant update. This is my click and grow and I think it's been about three, maybe four weeks since I planted all of these. I think I did it on the vlog. If not, I did it on Instagram stories, but the cilantro is growing so much as you can see. The basil is getting there and then the mint is having a hard time. Last time the mint didn't even like sprout. So I'm not sure if it was a bad pod, but at least there's a little bit of something going on this time. But honestly, I feel like last time they like sprouted so much quicker and I see these little like moldy areas on them and it worries me. So let me know if you guys know what I should do about this. Um, but this is self-watering and it has a light. So it's literally just in the corner of my kitchen. I barely have to do anything, especially when I'm gone because I just have to fill that up and it lasts so long. It is that time again. I just pulled out my suitcase and I kind of like just went through my closet, pulled some stuff to see if I would want to wear it on my trip. And I want to show you guys this set that I got from Aloe. I um, have it in black. And so while we were at the domain this weekend, I was like, I have worn it in another color. And I actually had this like really pretty green color. So I bought the skirt and then the top is a little bit different than the other one I have. They honestly didn't really have much to choose from. So I just went with this. It's a little bit more padded. You can take out the pads, which I'll probably do. Um, but I thought it was so cute. So it's definitely coming with me. And my friend Kaylin sent us an itinerary of our weekend. And I'm so excited. Just lots of chill dinners, drinks, and pool days and beaches. So I'm very, very pumped for that. Um, and honestly, not really worrying too much about my outfits. I mean, it would be nice to get some cute pictures for the gram. It's not gonna be the end of the world if it doesn't happen. I'm pretty much rewearing like all of my outfits, which I don't mind at all, because it's like coming to a new season and obviously it's just a stupid time to buy, you know, more summer stuff, even though it's Austin and I feel like summer's gonna last like three more months. One of the influencers I follow, she was at like this music festival. I think it's called Outside Lands. I looked it up because I saw on her story, everyone was in jackets. I was like, where the hell is this music festival that people are in jackets right now? And it was in San Francisco, which totally makes sense because I went there in July one year and it was actually really cold. So I get that, but like just the thought of people being in jackets right now in the US, like that's just wild to me. I also just checked the weather app and this is big news guys. It's been like a record of 100 degree or plus days and it's finally going to drop next Tuesday. 
So I'm very excited about that. Maybe I'll like plan a little afternoon walk just to get out of the house and take advantage of like, what is this, like six degrees cooler weather? Rant over, I need to actually start packing because I want to make dinner earlier than later. And then I can get really cozy and take my makeup off and all that kind of stuff. So let's do it. Pretty much packed everything. I just need to do like underwear and bras and stuff like that. I just packed my makeup and now I'm just packing my skincare. For the makeup, I actually had a mini of this already so i literally just put some of this powder because it's brand new i just bought it so i didn't have to take this big thing and now i'm transferring my um luna oil over to the mini that i literally just ran out of and for some reason i did not throw it away but thank god i didn't because i'm literally going to just like pick it up and put it in another one this is so clutch that it has a dropper too amazing and now I don't have to bring that big thing. Sometimes I just try to find like the smallest bottle of like a face lotion or just like anything like that and not care about what I use on an everyday basis. But I've learned my lesson because it's so important to like stick to your products that you know are good, you know what I mean? So I was gonna try to find another face lotion, but I've been really liking this one from Sunday Riley the CEO Afterglow. So it is a big container, but I don't have a mini one. I don't even know if they sell me a mini one. So I'm just gonna take that. I have my sunscreen, Alta MD. Definitely gonna need to use a lot of this because we're gonna be at the beach in the pool. Um, might as well pack my glow screen just in case in the morning, I don't wanna like put on makeup, but I want like a little bit of color on my face. I'll do that and then sunscreen. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Razor. Good thing I just saw that because I would have totally forgot. We got some laundry going, but for the most part, I'm done packing, so I think it's time to cook some dinner. doing a little sheet pan action so just some chicken taco seasoned chicken yellow bell pepper red onion and I'm gonna let Ryan decide if he wants to do like a chicken taco bowl with rice or if he wants to do like a taco I'm fresh faced I took off all my makeup because I was cutting the onion and my eyes burned so bad to the point where I was like I just need to take off my makeup and like wash my eyes out um, but I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed coming house hunting with me and it does not stop here So let me know if you guys want to see more. Hopefully I don't have to go see more I'm headed to Florida this weekend. So definitely go follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'll be posting in real time over there And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye